damn it, Jesse. Hi there, Pocket Gamers. It's I, Pocket Gamer, here bringing you a new exciting episode of Let's Play Sonic Generations. On our last episode, I ran out of time because I kept on dying too much in Radical Highway. And this episode, we're going to be tackling on Special Stage, uh, Rival Battle, and Boss Stage. Hopefully you won't die. And anyways, so, Tail says, so, I think I pieced together more of what's happening and it's not good and there's a rumble and it's the time eater and then classic tells is right there I don't know does he say anything yeah <laughs> when that thing goes through time it tears space apart it leaves areas empty and dead and sticks him into this weird white limbo but when That's Sonic is seller <laughs> but when Sonic but when the Sonics accelerate through time they fix space returning color and life then I guess we have to run. There's no, damn it. Jeez. Then I guess. <laughs> then I guess we have no. Yeah. Then I guess we have to run. Like there's no tomorrow or world or that. Jeez. There's so much. Sorry guys. <laughs> I I can't. I just read the text today. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't do the voices today. Not today because I'm rambling too much with my friend here, Jesse. Uh, she was. In, uh. Did you freeze? Oh, wait, um, yeah. Say hi, Jesse. Hi. Yeah, this I like is. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't. Uh, Jesse was my friend that I introduced in the first episode, and the first episode was kind of really, really boring, considering it was the pilot, and it was really, really dark. Tonight, um, I'm gonna have more time because my parents are out. Hooray! And they won't be here till midnight. Hooray! So I can be as loud as I can, but not too loud because my grandma's sleeping. But anyways, um, Sonic. So, Jesse, what'd you get on your grades today? Oh, oh. Is that just say it good or bad? I want you to read them out loud because I don't want the public to know. Let's not talk about grades. <laughs> Jesse, I was out of it. I'm usually an A and B student, but I was out of it this like semester, so I kind of yeah. It's... I got my English up to a C though. It was originally an F, and I got it up to a C within a day. Damn it, Jesse! So that's... I told you not to say your grades. <laughs> oh no, man! Just too much Legend of Zelda. Oh, dude, Legend of Zelda is awesome. Wait. Do they still do they still have the emulators running at your uh at the school? The what? The emulators. You know when we play GameCube on Mr. Ramirez. Yeah, they don't have that anymore. Mr. Ramirez made a what's it after school program where you can play with um they're getting in two PlayStation fours. Oh two nice. PlayStation threes, two Xbox three sixties. With live connects and controllers donated to the school because they're gonna have a gaming club. Oh, well, did we already have the game club? That's in Mr. Horace. No, all, all the clubs got shut down. What? Because of stupid ass people. What happened exactly? Um, what's it? The school system's like, screw you, nerds. You can't have games, but you still have to get your grades up. Just like, what? No, if we can't have gaming, what's the point of doing our grades and showing off our work talents? I don't know. That sucks. Well, at least Ramirez finally thought of it. Revolution. Needs oh, Jesse. So, how does it feel that if you have, if you get free lunch, you have to pay and clean the school? Oh wait, that's right. You you haven't heard of this law yet. Uh, apparently, damn it, I keep on hitting two bombs. Um, apparently, uh, starting next January, uh, when you ever, when you guys return, uh, you guys are gonna um. If you guys get free lunch, you have to clean the school because apparently the rich kids are complaining that uh, they're paying. For its lunch, so when there's they should be getting free lunch. So they, uh, the school board said, you know what? All the kids have to pay. Nigga, the school gets ten thousand dollars for the mixed media rights to have them get grades for college in high school, but they God. only use two thousand 
$2,000 for Ramirez's funding, and the 6000 go to themselves for cheerleading crap, even though it's all based on stupid-ass politics. So I don't understand why the hell people just can't eat food, or go walk down the street to fucking 7-Eleven and eat food. <laughs> I feel the like, lot. if they're gonna have to pay, they at least have the right to leave and go get actual food other than this crap they're serving us. Yeah. That's kind of true. <laughs> um, so anyways, guys, we just tackled special stage and we got a really, really bad rank. We got a C rank. I sucked. A lot. <laughs> Not in that you way. Suck big, <laughs> you suck big Bulbasaur. No. Anyways, yes. um, um, I guess we're only going to do rival battle because uh, the boss battle takes away too much time. So we're going to do go on take on shadow and this is going to be a two-parter episode. This is going to be another A and B episode because I kept on losing and I did not want to start all over this footage. Too lazy. He's a time consumer. Anyways, shadow is just like Metal Sonic. It's another race. Um, essentially all you gotta do is, uh, if he gets ahead of you, uh, you boost him to him, but sadly he has a boost as well, so what you gotta do is whenever you're near him, uh, boost, boost like hell, because that'll cat make him, um, get hurt, and cat getting, ah, and it will make him, uh, get behind. Uh, besides, besides that, it's not a hard it's not a hard rival battle. It should not. The only hard rival, uh, the only thing I do have to say is because, well, the only thing I have to say is um, he has the ability to use t uh, chaos control, which is that one ability that everyone knows. Uh, he can um, teleport immediately ahead. Ah, god damn it! And he can use his shadow strike to uh, knock you down, as you saw right there. But anyways, um, it's just exactly like the Metal Sonic uh, fight. Uh, you gotta. It's just another race, so yeah. I don't remember what this theme was. This is this is the Fortree story from Sonic Adventure 2, and I think I'm near the end. Let's just hope he doesn't get here. Okay, I win. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, but anyways, seven minutes. What would have happened? If you lost. What? What would have happened? If Lost. I would have to start the. I would have to no. Well, it counts like a death, but it. Well, it doesn't count as a death. You just you just have to restart the whole thing again. Cry. Yeah. I remember the first time I did it. Uh, it took me about five tries to beat it. But now that I know, many. Yeah, I know. That's like twenty minutes worth of gameplay. That's so sad. But anyways, um, since I died, well, I didn't die i get i just decided to restart the level because i started sucking and i sucked even more in the other one uh i decided i'm gonna push the boss into another episode just like i did for the um for the big arm boss but besides that uh yeah we did a, we did a semi progress we we didn't do as much as i thought i would so yeah all right uh jesse you got anything to say before we end the episode Yay! Alright. Uh, good night, gamers. It's been I, Pocket Gamer, here to say have a good night. Alright, see ya.